characters. How do you keep a straight face when he goes from one to the other? It was pretty tough, actually, on the set every day, because Eddie loves to ad lib. And with each and every character, every scene that we did, he always had a, some outrageous ad libs that were hilarious. Had his on the floor. I was ruining a few takes. A few good takes, actually. Yeah, you've got to keep a straight face in the background, even if you're not in the scene, because he's, his antics are going on, and you're just trying to stand there and stay yes, up. Yes, yes, exactly. He's, he's awesome. Awesome, just awesome. Tell me about your character, Denise Gaines. What in the world does she see in Professor Klump? <laughs> she sees his heart. She sees, she sees the real him. Um, she's, she's very wholesome, shy, very intelligent, um, just a, 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 a patient really wonderful woman and and she loves him unconditionally and the two basically are engaged to be married right yes so they're going to get together there are some hurdles to get over first but the one thing we know is that the clump family is thrilled about this union yes <laughs> because you show some of the same characteristics that professor clump does let's take a look at this scene hey you watch it now. You reach over here again, you're gonna pull back enough. <laughs> Ooh, please, she's fiery. I like that. Tell me, don't touch the chicken. Don't be hitting on people. I don't be getting hit on, Sherman. You know that. You better eat up, Isaac, or you're gonna need your strength. Yeah, later on, me and Isaac are gonna watch Mating Season on the Serengeti. <laughs> It's going to take a lot to get Isaac going. Time out. Good Lord. <laughs> Explain how this works, because Eddie plays all these characters, so there are times that you're acting opposite nothing. Yes, Is that a right? Ball. What do you mean a tennis ball? Well, they put a, a tennis ball on a, a C-stand, like and that's supposed to be Grandma, say, Sherman sitting here, say, Mama's there, and, and you're doing the scene with Papa that day, so you have to, you know, your reaction shots or whatever to those characters, and it's, it's for special effects purposes. Did you find that difficult? It was difficult. Um, the, the balcony scene where he proposes to me was pretty much, the, actually the whole scene was done uh, acting to an ex on a black flag. So you must look forward to the scenes where you're actually working with Eddie. Y yeah, I, I did, yes. You have some music in this movie. You contribute a song to the soundtrack. How did that come about? Did what? they did they ask you? No, no, I actually offered. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just staring at the... the are those cops outside? Or? <laughs> those would be cops, and you know what? I think they're staring at you, too, so I, don't I, worry about it. <laughs> I, I actually... I offered. Once I got the part, I, I, I wanted to be a part of the uh, soundtrack, so... And I, I felt kind of tacky in asking if I could be a part of it, and, and they, were, they were very excited that I, I had asked. Do you love the acting? It's, as I said, it's been seven years since you did your first yes, movie. Yes. Why so long? Well, a few reasons. Um, a lot of the scripts I got in were similar to Poetic Justice or the character, or there was a, if there was something that I absolutely love and I wanted to do something completely a d different, total departure from that. And if there was something that came my way, there was a scheduling conflict, being on tour, being in the studio, something going on, or in my personal life. So I, I just kept waiting and knowing that something would come my way. And that's when Nettie came about and they called me for this. And do you I, have the bug now? Well, I've always had the bug. I mean, especially since I, I, I mean, I started when I was 10. On acting, television? But yes, but especially since I did Poetic Justice. It, that bug never left. It really didn't. And I was so happy that they called me in to uh, audition for the, the role. So message to producers, directors out there, if you've got a good script, bring it your way. That's, is that um, a world of, I guess, yes. <laughs> You mentioned something a second ago. You said there are always timing issues, and you know, either you're doing something else or something's happening in your life. Something came out, and I don't want to get too personal on this, don't worry, mm -hmm. but you did just go through a divorce. Yes. The thing that amazed me, though, Janet, is you managed to keep a marriage secret for... A very long time. Like nine years? Uh, um, almost, but uh, close to eight. How do, as such a high-profile person, how did you manage to do that? You don't tell anyone. <laughs> I mean, did good friends know? <laughs> a few, just very few. And not everyone in my family knew. Just the ones that can keep a secret. <laughs> because Renee was always referred to as your boyfriend. Yes, yes. And all along, for most of the time, you two were married. Yes. What was the reason you found that that should be so important? Well, we both decided to do that and uh, to live a normal life, being in the public eye since I was seven. Um, all the negative press, the negative energy that I've seen with other couples once they, you know, they join, and 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 I, I that all that negative energy, 
I, I think truly, obviously it's not good, but I think it feeds into what's going on with between those two people. And such a wonderful thing, a beautiful thing, there should be just positive energy to, to help make that work. Um, it's, it's bad enough, it's difficult enough trying to make such a thing work, and then on top of that, being in the industry, it's very, very difficult leading those lives. Well, you fooled us so. all. So congratulations on that, and I hope things work out for you personally. Thank you so much. And with this movie, it's called Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC.